This video is for Taurus Sun Signs. This is your energy forecast for the month of April 2018. Welcome and greetings. Welcome to Medium Tarot TV channel. Thank you for tuning in and watching. My name is Edward, your soul messenger host, psychic medium, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. Once again, there's a lot going on this month. You're going to be advised to watch the main video first, titled April 2018, All Signs Let Me Live. So you go to link, you can go below, that's a good one. You can go below for the link if you're watching on YouTube, or you can go to my website, link timeline. This video will be there, the main video will be there, the theme healing song will be there, the complete series will be there for easy reference, okay? So let's just jump right in, because this is a busy month. So we're gonna start with the good old Mercury retrograde review which technically went in, the main period of it is, anyway, March 22nd through April 15th. And we had as our week energy, which was the theme for March 2018, letting go, releasing the influence of perhaps, letting it be, whatever is no longer energetically serving us including people, which now looking at this energy forecast for April could very likely involve people for you. Yes, indeed. All right. So that means people that you were involved with, you wanted to be involved with, you were friends, but you wanted to be more, and for those who resonate with Past life energy, could be a past life relationship, and also twin flame relationship, soulmate relationship, okay? All right, for those who resonate with that energy. For everyone else, it would basically be a relationship of your past, this lifetime. All right, so for the day energy, when Mercury went technically went direct, though we started to feel it before, on March 22nd, was the energy of problems. And I was seeing this time period, March 22nd through April 15th, as a blessing in disguise if we acknowledge what's no longer working for us. And unless you're in denial, we're going to recognize what's no longer working in our lives because the universe is going to let us know. And the energy that you received, which is the start of the tip-off as we go further into this video, further throughout the month, this is, is, this is an emotional energy. You received the energy of the opening up of the heart chakra. So the, it's an opening. It's an opening, okay? The beginning stages of the element of water, love, passion, creativity, spirituality, that theme is continuing through April 2018 for you. This actually is the energy that was the energy we were working with for Zodiac Year 2017, which I believe is March 27th, 2017, which will technically run through April 14th, 2018, which was a major shift. So you guys are going through a major shift within as well. Are you opening up to love? I hope so. Or having enhanced love experiences. Now, if you don't want to have a relationship, that's fine. But this, working with this energy, heart chakra energy, will enhance all your relationships, not just romance. There's co-workers, there's um, roommates, there's friendships, all types, okay? So that's what's going on. You're going down, I'm having a sale called Down the Rabbit Hole, which is specifically for this Mercury retrograde period. Your trip down the rabbit hole has to do with self-love first, always comes down to self-love. And then loving your life, perhaps accepting it for the way it is presently, and then 
looking to see how you can make it better, enhance it, plus it. When we get out of the rabbit hole, uh, Mercury direct, which I'm going to look into further, April 15th. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to move on to the Libra full moon. Take out that energy for you. Okay. As I film this, <laughs> we're having, um, well, it's snowing. I don't know if it's going to end up being a snowstorm or not. I suspect not, but it's snowing. So it's, it's you know, it's cloudy and um, it's quite interesting out there. So if you hear the, the wind howling, that's why. All right. So, Libra full moon technically fell on March 31st. The full moon week we're going to feel at the strongest is March 28th through April 3rd. So, it bridges. That, that uh, Libra full moon, blue moon, because the second full moon of the, of the month of March, triggered the Pisces new moon week, March 14th through the 20th, which was a very pivotal week for the month of March, okay? So we had as a week energy, thoughts of aggravation and or strife, or joy rapture. The day energy, which was the key, or is the key, depending on how early you're watching this video. Inner GPS system, inner calm, connecting with the higher self, meditation. The psychic insight theme for that, for that full moon is the positive application is clearing of the air, reconciliations, re renegotiations, agreements being made, being arrived at. The not so positive energy is what we have to be careful of second guessing ourselves and self doubt. And you receive the energy of either commitment, solidification, or needing to chill out, relax, chillax. So, as I was saying in the, in the March videos, that week, March 28th through April 3rd, it's going to be hard-pressed for us not to experience someone around us, or we hear of, someone having, probably around us, a temper tantrum, diva fit, crap storm. And it's important for us not to get, you know, not to get involved or not to take it personally. So you, you basically are having an energy of taking a back seat that week, stepping back, not getting involved, perhaps taking a little time off or breaks or pacing yourself. Not a bad idea. And there's a lot, actually come to think of it, there's a lot of energy of self-reflection here for you. Now, this week... It would be mental self-reflection, putting things in perspective. Though the overall month I'm feeling is an emotional retrospect, um, perspective type month for you. But this week is mentally putting it all together or taking a mental rest. Meditation is like taking a mental rest, but actually taking a little time off or taking breaks or pacing yourself. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, moving on to the Aries new moon. All right. Take out that energy for you. Okay. Aries new moon falls on April 15th. The new moon week, we're going to feel it the strongest, is April 12th through the 18th. This is the beginning of the new zodiac year, 2018, according to... My calculations, the system that I utilize, which is a lunar cycle, going by the lunar cycle, not by a solar cycle. This is the actual day that Mercury goes direct. So this is a very eventful time of the month. And this is, I'm seeing this as a clearing, and we start to come out of the rabbit hole that we entered on March 22nd. They'll probably start to feel it around March 15th. Okay, so let's see what we got working with here. Wonderful energy. This is a reset, a reboot. This is the 
Energetically, this is the beginning of spring season. I have to say energetically because if you're on the other side of the globe, you're not experiencing spring. Even if even here, if you're here watching in the States, uh, spring officially began March 20th, but this is when I see that it launches, okay? Because prior to this time, we were working with the winter vibration. Now we're working with the spring vibration. This is a reboot, a reset. Spring has sprung, at least energetically. We'll see if Mother Nature cooperates. But we have the week energy and the day energy, which is why it's a reboot. Opportunity. It's the raw fire energy. Fire energy is the spark of life, the spark of divinity within a soul. Namaste. Indeed. We have as the... I don't remember what this energy is associated with, but I have it down here, so it's important. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the energy of benefit, beneficial energy, the art of allowing, yes, the art of giving and receiving. That's what I really meant to say. But, ah, uh, yeah, it is the art of allowing for you because the energy that you received is the magic equation of being in the moment, going with the flow, and that is where all the magic happens. When we do our new moon intentions, it is, this is the energy that we are supposed to be in. We, we envision what we would like to materialize in our life, but it's as if it's occurring right in that very moment. See? So this is definitely the art of allowing things into your life, being more open, generally speaking, well, mind and heart, in your life, that's a theme for you this month, specifically heart-centered, starts there, but okay. So this is a time period now specifically the week of April 12th through the 18th, but of course, and beyond, the art of allowing, allowing more, accepting more. More is possible, right? That's the stance. More is possible, okay? I just thought of something. It, according to the system that I utilize, our new year does not start Personal New Year does not start until the new moon after our birthday. So it depends on when your birthday is, but odds are your new year is going to start and launch either May 15th, depending if your birthday is prior to that, or the next one in June. So depending on that, up to that point, you're going to be in your winter vibration, so you might not see much happening, but much can happen within to prepare you for that time period, okay? Since I had that thought, actually, when we get to the, the next, yeah, Mercury Direct, that's going to make more sense. Okay. So the art of allowing, being in the moment, having a wonderful Mercury retrograde experience, if you're watching this on the early side, March 22nd through April 15th, it can be wonderful. Mercury retrograde is everything with RE, review, reorganize, restructure. Adjustments, okay? It's a slowdown, but we can't stop our lives. It's not advised. Okay. So, you know, I'm just getting big time because um, I'm going to get to why I call this... Um, this video self-imposed isolation for you this really is this month really is your acknowledging if that is the fact and it is your coming out it's your coming out party or being you know depends on you know you as an individual certain degrees me being more out and about more present in the moment because I'm sure we've all known someone that you're hanging out with them, but they're not really there because their mindset is somewhere else. It's not being present. 
That's why, you know, they say the present is a gift. Haha. All right. All right, I'm going to end that there, but that is our launch. You might not feel like you're being launched until, like I said, the that new moon after your birthday, which would be May 15th, or the new moon in June. Okay, depending on when your birthday is. All right, I'm going to end it. I'm going to end that. And we're going to move on to Mercury Direct. Okay. So this is basically, let me get this out. All right. Mercury Direct, April 15th. So I thought I would do a reflection of the energy that the signs received going in and then another energy for coming out. And this is why it's um, starting to make sense, logical sense for me that has to do, it's an emotional opening time period for you. So, you received, going into the Mercury retrograde, you received that heart chakra energy, the opening, the beginning of the element of water, and then for this energy, going direct on the 15th, you received, coming out of Mercury retrograde, you received the energy of long-range goals, which is um, an earth energy. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to repeat what the element of earth represents because these are things that you will be working on enhancing, improving any combination of if you allow the heart chakra or the heart opening, opening, okay? Allowing more in your life, new beginnings in your life, even though it might not seem it in the outer world quite yet. Remember, because I was saying goes uh, according to the new moon after your birthday. All right. So the element of earth represents work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, okay, which is self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, which is, I always say, vital for manifesting or creating anything in our lives, which is true. Then there is long-range goals, which is this energy, then there is physical health, okay? Out of all of those cat categories, issues for the element of earth, the sense of security within is the most important, I feel. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence, because our health eventually suffers if that's wobbly or not so positive, okay? So, here you are preparing for having the best life possible, okay? You are a Taurus sun sign after all, okay? I call Taurus the producers of the zodiac. I have a Taurus moon, so I understand Taurus energy. We create, we produce, okay? That's what we do. So in order to do that, we have to have an open stance. You have to have, you have to be open to expect great things as opposed to waiting for the floor to drop out from underneath you. I know. We've all experienced crap in the past, but this is a time to embrace, to open, and to look forward to the not-so-distant future. Okay? So, very interesting for you. I'm very happy for you about that. All right. Now we're going to move on to good old Taurus, 2018. Get out that energy for you. All right, this is very interesting and another reason why I went with the title of um, self-imposed isolation. All right. Taurus, 2018. April 19, 2018, the sun enters the astrological sign of Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus, Taurus natives. So Taurus 2018 is April 19th through May 19th, okay? So we're still working with that energy of opportunity for our weak energy. Opportunity, okay, great. We have as the day energy, 
Socializing, networking. That's what this type of month is for everybody. Okay? You received two cards energies because one flipped out and for whatever reason I put it back, made a mental note, and picked another one for you, but now I see why. It all falls into place. The card that flipped out, so what I do is I mix up the cards for each of these categories with the full deck and because so things can repeat if if need be and one just went up flipped out so if it's just one I take a note all right so that energy was for you the epitome of the element of water okay so the element of water is love passion creativity spirituality so you've been working with the beginning stages of it and now here you have the end stages of it so Love, passion, creativity, spirituality. That's the name of the game for you for the month of April 2018. Whether it brings in love or not, doesn't matter. Okay, you're still working with those themes. Those are self-evident as far as I'm concerned. Now, the other energy you received is, the, is, is actually a new cycle, a new start. Okay? So you work here, you now have two energies that have to do with a new beginning and a new start and one ending energy, emotional energy. So you could be, this month, you could be letting go of someone from your past, preparing for someone else to come in, allowing someone else to come in, these are all possibilities for you this month. But you're to go out and about, like everybody is this month, out and about, socialize, and network. And I make a joke that you shouldn't even go to the bathroom in your own living space. The joke is we should know who's in our living space. Not even go to the bathroom in our, li in our own living space without a business card because you never know who you're going to meet and when you're going to meet them. Okay? This, if there ever was a time to shake hands and kiss babies and exchange information, this month is it, okay? You um, should experience either emotional closure or emotional opening beginning this month, depending on where you are on the spectrum, okay? Sounds good to me, very good to me. So if you do have self if you do, if you did have self-imposed isolation, you get yourself out of it. You participate once again. You, this, the, this energy does relate to joining a group or organization. It doesn't have to be large. Or gathering with friends like once a week or on somehow on a regular basis. But it's the energy of sharing knowledge and wisdom. Perhaps a little tea and sympathy, perhaps, you know, lend me your ears, having a good, good listen, good cry, good release, whatever. Companionship, whatever. Okay? So get out and about. Okay? So if you do have self-imposed isolation, it's time to get out of it. Okay? All right. And that will be very evident during the Scorpio full moon week, which we're going to look into next. All right. I feel good about this. I'm going to end that. All right. All right. Then next we're going to look into the Scorpio full moon. Let me get out the energy for you. Uh-huh. Okay. This is another reason why it's an emotional thing for you. All right. So Scorpio full moon occurs on April 29th. April 29th, we're going to feel it the strongest, April 26th through May 2nd. So once again, this is going to fall into May, beginning of May. All right? So we have as our weak energy, cooperation, collaboration, friendship, playing nice with people. No man or woman is an island. Then we have as our day energy, that energy that is part of your theme, 
of the opening up of the beginning stages of the element of water, love, passion, creativity, spirituality. Okay. I was going to say you're working with the majority of, of water energy. Okay. So where were we? Beginning stages, the heart chakra. Okay. I do have to say something that I forgot to say. So this month, you could be triggered, not necessarily in a negative way, but you could be triggered by like, be taking back to what happened or what didn't happen last year. Uh, odds are it could be technically since March 27th, 2017, when we went into Zodiac year 2017, or at least since your birthday 2017 which could include love that happened or didn't happen or people that you needed to release. That all could be uh, not like an acid reflux, but it could resurface, okay? All right. So the Psychic Insight theme for this full moon is do we see the glass half empty or half full? It's um, are we acknowledging what we have in our life, or are we too busy past regrets or things that didn't happen or people that didn't follow through, blah, 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 because crap happens to us all. So are we focusing on the positive or on the negative? It comes down to. The energy that you received is another energy of water. It's the energy of hope, hope, inspiration, the rainbow of hope, the rainbow of inspiration. It's feeling outside the box. It's going beyond your emotional comfort zone. Okay? Bingo. Bingo was his name Oh, Going beyond your emotional comfort zone. That's going to be it for you for April 2018. I do not see this as a bad thing, though it can be discomforting at times. All right, I get that. I understand that. But emotional happiness can be yours. Emotional contentment can be yours. For some of you, it would be far-fetched or fantasy when we start the month. But hopefully when we end the month of April, you're seeing a different perspective or a different view or a different potential for yourself, I'm hoping. Okay? Okay. Let me see. Anything else they want to say about this? If you haven't done it prior, this week, April 26th through May 2nd, though you may have done it through Mercury retrograde period, which is March 22nd through April 15th, either consciously or subconsciously. Basically going, having a review of people that are in your life and not to be paranoid, but do they have your back or not? Are they reciprocal or not? Are, you know, the art of giving and receiving. Where do they fall on that spectrum? Okay, so it's like an emotional balancing of the scales for you this month. I see that as a, as a very good thing, by the way. Okay, even though it can be discomforting and disheartening at times to go through, to acknowledge, you know, who is no longer energetically serving us. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Quite a fascinating month, I would say, for you guys. All right, now. As your overall message, which is coming from, sorry, like I said, it's, it's snowing, so it's not much light, it is coming from the Vice Versa Tarot, beautiful tarot deck, tarot deck, and you received the Five of Pentacles, okay? So that's the front, okay? And that's the back, okay? So if you are subscribed to an e-newsletter, and you still can, you go below, or you go to link below, or you go to our website, link contact. You can also go to link readings, but link contact. You can subscribe, and then you can go to our video on YouTube, and you can leave a comment of what you think this card represents for you for the month of April 2018, and I will respond with mini channel message for you. 
which is one of the many perks of being on to being on our e-newsletter, e-newsletter subscriber. Okay, including um, a sale. I'm having a down the rabbit hole sale for Mercury retrograde. And um, what's going on with me? Updates with me. What spirit wants to convey to us collectively, universally? I think that's just about it. All right, so self-imposed isolation. All right, so this month, what's suggested is for you to figure out to what degree you have done that. It might be because of, you know, crap happening in the past. Been there, done that. But it's not serving you, okay? Please do not be selfish and keep yourself hidden because... The world needs producers, needs creators, okay? That's what Taurus is. So don't be selfish and hide yourself away, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but all right. So in closing, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in and watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you're watching on YouTube, and, you know, do what you feel is right. Subscribe to our e-newsletter, subscribe to... YouTube channel, like, share, subscribe this video. Thank you. And donate whatever feels right. And hope you have a great month. Hope you have a great heart opening month. And hope to see you real soon. Till next time, you take care. Thank you.